passport to heaven, a one-way ticket to paradise, a two-week pass to Paris. Gosh, Hank, that's wonderful. Paris, wonderful Paris. All those lovely creatures on the Champs Elysees are just a waiting. <laughs> Hank, how many times have I told you? Champs Elysees. Okay, Champs Elysees. Just as long as they're women. Women? Hank, at your age, women to be a book you haven't opened yet. Oh, grow up, Pop. I learned to read in high school. Did your furlough come through? Uh, no, not yet. Well, what are you waiting for? Well, the old man's been chewing nails all week. I wouldn't dare ask him now. Listen, this outfit may go back to the States at any time. It's your one chance to get to go to Paris. You've got to hit the old man for a furlough now. Now! I'll ask him tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always tomorrow. What's the matter? Are you afraid of him? Afraid of Colonel Daly? <laughs> I work in his office. Tell you what I'll do. Tomorrow, I'll fill out a request for a furlough and slap it on his desk, and that'll be the end of it. Okay. Okay. Look, how about going to Milan with me tonight? No, I want to finish this book. I'm making a list of places for us to see in Paris. Look, will you let me worry about that? But you've never been to Paris, and you don't know what's interesting. Look, Stan, one thing I got, that's intuition. Now, just leave it to me. Come on, we're going to Milan. No, I... Ah! Uh, come on. Ah! Uh, come on. I probably will. What are you doing here? Did you ask him yet? A little later. I don't care how many times you blow up that monster. Go over again. And this time, you better come up with someone. Do you understand? Find someone! Now, do you see what I mean? You've got to ask him this morning. Okay, Hank. Good. A little later. No one. Do you mean to tell me that not one man, not one man in A Company is... A being sorry isn't going to help. Get me air transport right away. I don't care if they are still busy. This is Colonel Daly. Beaver! Yes, sir. Beaver, get busy on ATC and make it PDQ. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is Colonel Daly. What? Not one man in all of B Company? Well, that's just great. Yeah, yeah, I've already heard from C and D. Well, what do you think? Beaver! Yeah? Well, what in blazes are you calling to tell me that for? Keep trying till they're not busy. Well, what do you want? ATC has no regular courier to London, sir. Well, don't just stand there, do something. Contact the Swiss Navy or get the RAF, but get going. Pepperidge! Pepperidge! Is the Colonel call? Pepperidge, what did you find out? I've gone over the Rossa very carefully, sir. No one in Milan has put in for a furlough to London. What in blazes is wrong with London? Why doesn't anyone want to go to London? Don't answer that. No, sir. Everybody should see London at, at one time or another. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who? I don't know, sir. I don't think you realize how important this is to me, Pepper. Yes, Colonel. Well, it's pretty darn important to me. I'm sure it is, sir. Well, what are we going to do about it? Everyone should see London, one time or another. Yeah? Stanley. Take it in now. Okay, Hank. Well, 
put them on. What are you waiting for? Come in. Hello, air transport. No, I don't want Captain Fee. Let me talk to Colonel Bradley. Okay, I'll wait. What do you want? Well, I excuse me. Hello? Sir. Well, did you tell him this was Colonel Daly calling? Okay, I'll wait. What is this? Well, I, I wondered if the Colonel would... No, I don't want you to call me back. I'll stand by. I wondered if the Colonel would approve my request for a furlough. So, you want a furlough, eh? Yes, sir. I don't want to ever hear that word furlough again. I don't ever want to see the word furlough again. Now get back to your typewriter and stop wasting official time. Yes, sir. Get going! Yes, sir. Hello, air transport. Cancel that call, please. No, never mind. Just tell Colonel Bradley hello for me. Yes, sir. At ease, Gilchrist. Have a chair. I beg your pardon, sir. The Colonel said... Yes, I... Stanley. I asked you to sit down. Well, thank you, sir. You may smoke if you like, Stanley. Oh, I don't... Thank you, sir. We've been through an awful lot together, Stanley. Yes. Together, we have won a war. I repeat, together we have won a war. You may not be aware of it, Stanley, but wars are not won with guns alone, but with typewriters, too. How often have you sat at your typewriter while all around you shells were exploding? How often have you kept typing though your fingers were numb? Always the steady, relentless tap, tap, tap of your typewriter was as comforting to us as the rat tat tat of machine guns. For always we knew that reports were going out on time. We knew that requisitions were being followed through. You and your typewriter have never shirked a responsibility. You have never let the battalion down. The battalion is proud of you. There have been many unsung heroes in this war. Stanley Gilchrist, you are an unsung hero. You know, I was a little upset when you asked for a furlough. Of course you should have a furlough. And I might add, a well-deserved vacation. Oh. Well, thank you, sir. Ah, uh, how I envy you, your trip to London. Ah, uh, yes. London. How lucky you are to see Big Ben and London Tower. I'm going to Paris. Have you ever been in a fog, Stanley? Well, <laughs> Colonel, I mean a real fog, Stanley. No, Why, I... you don't know what real fog is till you've been in a London fog. But, Colonel, I... You'll be thrilled at the sight of Westminster Abbey, Buckingham Palace, and the British Museum. But, Colonel, I... And, Stanley, have you ever visited the Houses of Parliament? You haven't? You haven't visited the Houses of Parliament? You should, Stanley. But I've made plans to... And I'm sure you're going to enjoy your trip to London. But, Colonel... Sergeant Gilchrist. And by the way, Stanley, 
I want you to do something while you're in London. is very confidential. I want you to deliver this letter personally. You'll find the name and address clearly marked on the envelope. At the end of the week, you're to go back to the same address and pick up a package which will be ready for you. But Colonel Patterson... And Stanley, don't mention this letter to a soul. Yes. I'm sure you're going to love London, Stanley. I'm sure you'll love London, Hank. London? What's in London? Why, what do you mean? What's in London, Sergeant? Well... Have you ever been to Buckingham Palace? Not lately. The British Museum. And I haven't been in the Folies Budget yet. <laughs> the Houses of Parliament. You're not well, Stanley. Hank. Just think if you went back to the States without having seen the Houses of Parliament. I couldn't stand myself. And the Thames River. What a river. Yeah. Well, what has Paris got? You've never been out with the girls in London, Hank. They don't have girls in London, Stanley. They only have females. Dude. Hey. At ease, men. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I ain't going to London. Oh, yes, you are. My past reads Paris, and that's where I'm going. It read Paris. It doesn't anymore. What? That's right. Sergeant Gilchrist, company clerk, has attended to all that. It reads London now, boy. You didn't do it, Stanley. Tell me you didn't do it. But you'll see Paris anyway. I will? Sure. We fly straight from here to Paris. Oh. How long do we stay in Paris? Well, that depends. On what? on how soon we can catch the boat train to London. The voyageur from Marseille, can douze en voiture, s'il vous plaît. No point in both of us waiting in line. I'm going to cruise around a bit. All right, but don't get lost. I'll meet you in the waiting room. Well, how long do we stay in Paris? About 45 minutes. What? 45 minutes? Look, Stan, what can you do? Don't you be late.
Have, have, have you found a bag like this? Mais qu'est-ce que vous voulez, monsieur? Did someone return a bag like this? Je ne comprends pas. Qu'est-ce que vous dites? No, no, no. Lost, lost, lost. Ah, oui, je comprends. Lost, perdu. Et où? Do you wish to go? No, never mind. What are you doing in there? Hey, now, wait a minute. You holding out your buddy? Hank, am I glad to see you. What's up? What's the trouble, pal? I'm going mad, nuts. Somebody switched travel bags on me. Why would anybody want to do that? For a very serious reason. They must have been after the... After the what? I can't tell you, Hank. I promised the Colonel. What? What did you promise? I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. Look, I'm your pal, remember? Don't you want me to help? Well, I can't unless I know what this is all about. Well, the Colonel gave me a letter to take to London, and it was top secret. Top secret? Wow. And the letter was in that bag. No. Yes. Man, oh, man. So that's why we had to go to London. And that's why I couldn't explain to you. London, gosh. It was probably channeled for Supreme Water. Oh, what a mess. Oh, we just got to find your travel bag. Well, that's what I've been trying to do. Do you have any idea how many bags there are like that in this station? There. And there. Well, that's what you get for accepting gifts. Look, I'll cover one side of the station. You take the other. We'll meet in the waiting room. What time do you have? Three minutes of one. I got two minutes of. Wait, I'll change mine. Now, we meet here in the waiting room, 1.15. Got it? OK. <laughs> Excusez moi, monsieur. You have the time, perhaps? Yes? Oui, certainement. It is, um, uh, here. 
Merci, merci. Est-ce que vous avez du feu, s'il vous plaît Oui, c'est un mot, madame. Merci beaucoup. Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh... Holy cow How I forgot something très important. You stay here, I come right back. Comprenez-vous Hello, little girl. Oh, uh, nice weather you have here in Paris. Oh, how are things? Uh, have a cigarette? Oh, uh, going on a little trip? Me too. I'm going to London. Where are you going? That's a beautiful bag, just like mine, just like Big Soldier, huh? Uh, let me see the nice bag. Oh, bag, nice bag, show me. Chewing gum? Yes?
not again. Any luck? No. My goose is cooked. Not yet. This is too important. Look, you take the train to London and report in. I'll stay here and keep looking. Well, don't worry. I'll find that bag. <laughs> How are we supposed to find each other in London? Well, both check at the American Red Cross. All right, if you think that's the best way. I think so. Now, stop worrying. I'm going to get busy again. Well, good luck. See you in London with the bag. There are no empty compartments down there. Mem shows. <laughs> After you. Uh, après vous. Oh, merci. Permettez-moi. Oh, no, 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 merci. Oh, it isn't heavy. Uh. This is a very nice bag. It's very much like my bag. English, Sergeant. You've been able to speak English all along? And Italian, and Spanish. Well, why did you have me struggling so? <laughs> Just for fun. Well, you really had me going. Say, where did you learn to speak such English? In school here, and I, I spent a few years in America, too. You did where? New York. You're kidding. No. Well, it's a small world. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm from New York. Oh, <laughs> it is a small world, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you from? No, nope. don't bother telling me. I can tell just from looking at you that you're from Paris. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm not from Paris. I'm a small town called Durdon. Well, I'd have sworn you were from Paris. Why? You've got that Parisian look, I guess. <laughs> What's that? Awful good. Mm, messy. <laughs> you like Paris? Well, I don't know. I was just there long enough to catch the train. Oh. Where are you stationed? Milan, Italy. 
Oh, what a shame you couldn't have seen Paris. You'd like it. Oh, I'm sure I would. <laughs> That's the Paris guidebook you're reading, isn't it? Yes, but it's of no use to me. You see, uh, <clears throat> I'm off to London on official business. I knew you weren't on a pleasure trip. Oh, you did? <laughs> it's easy to recognize an important man. Well, really? <laughs> you know, you're rather glamorous yourself. Wearing those dark glasses, you look like all the movie Mata Harry's rolled up into one. A spy? Mm-hmm. But of course. I've been assigned to you. But how nice. I've been assigned to keep an eye on you, too. That should make it easy for both of us. <laughs> well, a fine couple of spies we are. What do you mean? Well, we don't even know each other's names. That's true, we don't. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stanley Gilchrist. Secret Agent X-11. <laughs> I'm very happy to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Giselle Barma. Secret Agent Y-37. <laughs> <laughs> The train will be about 15 minutes late in Le Havre. <laughs> oh, isn't the French countryside <laughs> beautiful? Not at all. Now, why, why don't you take a little nap? Right here. Come on, come on. My body goes to sleep. Oh. Oh, that feels better. That's good. Will you wait in line, Sergeant? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Your name? Giselle Barma.
allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stanley Gilchrist. Secret agent X-11. <laughs> I'm very happy to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Giselle Bauma. Secret agent Y-37. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stanley Gilchrist. Secret Agent X-11. <laughs> I'm happy to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Giselle Barma. Secret Agent Y-37. <laughs> And now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Stanley Gilchrist, secret agent X-11. <laughs> I'm very happy to meet you. And now, allow me to introduce myself. I... I'm Giselle Balma. Secret agent Y-37. Sergeant! Sergeant! Sergeant? Uh, yes, sir. Your name, please? Stanley Gilchrist, sir. Purpose of visit? Fellow, sir. May I see your leave papers, please? Yes, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Just a moment, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Are you carrying any written messages, letters or political pamphlets on your person? Oh, no, sir. All right, Sergeant. Sergeant. Yes, sir? Just a minute. Yes, sir. What have you got in that bag, Sergeant? Mm. Uh, uh, just a few little things, sir. Yes, I'm sure of that. But what? Sort of intimate personal things, sir. Come, come, Sergeant. Open your bag, please. This may be very embarrassing, sir. Yes, it might very well prove embarrassing. You're back, Sergeant. But, sir, I thought that... Hmm. Very interesting. Well, Sergeant, would you care to explain? Explain? Explain what, sir? N for neck, 16, 40, W, 36, I, 32. Well, do you recognize it? Code. Code? I'm afraid we'll have to detain you until we can check with military intelligence. Intelligence? That's correct.
by the way, Stanley, I want you to do somewhere in London. Personally. And Stanley, don't mention this letter to a soul. My colonel, Colonel Daly in Milan, gave me a letter to be delivered to you personally. Colonel Daly? Oh, yes, of course, Colonel Daly. Fortunately, I remember the name of your shop. The letter? Where is the letter? Coming to that. As I said, fortunately, I remember the name and address of your shop. Yes, yes. Where is the letter? It's just it. I don't have it anymore. What? Where is it? The customs office confiscated it. Oh. You see, you're not allowed to bring letters from the continent into England. Colonel Daly either didn't remember that or forgot all about it. In either case, they took it away. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. I'll get in touch with your Colonel. I'm very glad I remembered the name of your shop. That's all right, Sergeant. I'm very glad it's not too serious? Not in the least. What is your name, Sergeant? Gilchrist. Sergeant Stanley Gilchrist. Stanley Gilchrist. Well, thank you for dropping in. I would forget about the whole matter, Sergeant. Tony. Yes, Chief? Follow the American sergeant. Make a note of all his movements. And call me as soon as you found out where he's staying. Yes, Chief.
Hello? Hello? Oh, it's Stanley. I'm so terribly glad you called. How are you, Giselle? Well, I was so upset about the incident in the customs office. Oh, well. Well, there was little time to talk, and there's certain things I'd like to explain. Oh? Well, uh, I thought kind of funny, too. And there are certain things I'd like to explain to you, too. Well, uh, what are you doing now? Calling you. <laughs> Could we meet someplace and, uh, talk? <laughs> Where would you suggest? Well, let me see. Mm -hmm. Would you like to come here? To my flat? I could fix us some, uh, some tea. Giselle. <laughs> Giselle, that sounds like a very good idea. What's your address? 2318 Grosvenor Square. And Stanley. Stanley, I'm so glad you could come. Thank you. Sit down, won't you? Help yourself to the cigarettes. I'll only be a moment. I'll fix us a drink. Here we are. I hope you like martinis. Mm, it's a bit short, don't you think? Not at all. I think it fits perfectly. Oh? Huh? Well, it's just a feeling I rather imagine. <laughs> there you are. I'm awfully glad you called. So am I. I didn't know how to get in touch with you. Well, I rather wanted to explain things. I did too. After you left the customs office, I started to think. I thought... Would it be wise to get in touch with him, or better, just to forget the whole matter? Mm. 
And then I thought to myself, but he's been so nice. He's been so honest, and I, too, should be honest. Mm. And then I thought, maybe he wouldn't believe me. And feeling about you the way I do, ah, I just couldn't bear that. So I, so I, train, train, custom officer, custom. Paris to We've been over him very thoroughly. He doesn't have the letter. Where is it? I don't have it. The captain took it. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. He gave the letter back to you. He didn't. You saw him take it from me. <laughs> I saw him give it back to you. Then what did you do with it? Did you pass it on to someone else? I tell you, the captain took it. I didn't give it to anybody. To whom did you give it? I tell you, the captain has it. Look, wise guy. You think you're tough, eh? Sure, I'm tough. This is the very last time I'll ask you. What did you do with the letter? You'll never know. You stupid fool. Stay where you are. And put up your hands! Everybody! The American is my prisoner, and I mean to get that letter for my government. Keep them covered. We are taking over. I want that letter. Wait. What are you doing? It's the man. What's the man doing here? <laughs> man. That letter must be more important than we thought. Imbeciles, fighting amongst yourselves. This is what the enemy wants. Divide you, weaken you. This letter is more important than all of your respective governments. I had orders from my superiors. I know. You all did. But the Unity Committee did not get word to your leaders soon enough. Without this letter, we will all be lost. We have decided to pool our efforts. We must get that letter. Now, Stanley, where is the letter? What did you do with the letter? Come on, Stanley, old boy. It's Hank. Remember me? It's your buddy, Hank. The letter. Where's the letter? Okay, relax. The letter, where is it? He must have had a nightmare. Probably could do with the rest, poor fellow. Sorry you were held up, Sergeant, but there's nothing we can do about it. But everything's all right now. I checked up with the old Colonel about that letter. <laughs> Very funny. It wasn't in code after all. It was only measurements for a riding habit. You shouldn't take chances, and the Colonel ought to have known better. Here's your letter. You can proceed now. Thank you, sir. And now for you, mademoiselle. I can return your letter from your mother, that's all right. But please remember that you're not allowed to carry written material to the continent, however personal. I'm sorry, Captain. I understand. Thank you very much.
Stan. <laughs> I never did find your bag. So I finally decided to take the next train out. Oh, it's all right, Hank. I found it, but I don't know how, but I found it. <laughs> That's swell. <laughs> Giselle, this is my friend, Hank. Hi. Hello. Well, come on. Let's go. We gotta hurry. Can't miss that British Museum. Here we are. And I was a spy. Well, it was only a dream. <laughs> In my dream, honey, you wouldn't be a spy. Well, I'd be glad to get rid of this. Wait here a second, and I'll be right out. Sergeant, may I help you? Oh, no. 